And let's start on that particular note where in terms of the El Nino preparations this afternoon, the national and the county governments has been urged to avail relief food in time to Asal counties ahead of the expected El Nino rains. Now, Fafi Member of Parliament, that is Salah Yakub, says counties such as Garissa and other far-flung counties have infrastructural challenges that make it almost impossible to access, especially when it rains. Speaking during the first batch of 560 bags of relief food destined for the Kaharja ward, Fafi Member of Parliament noted that residents of the Asal counties are vulnerable and if necessary assistance is not provided early enough, these people will greatly suffer. Already in five of the wards in the Fafi constituency, already one is becoming landlocked. In the Kaharja now, rains have started from yesterday. And the traditional weather forecast we are getting is that in the next two or three days it will be closed. Mine is just to appeal uh, for more uh, and quick response from the national government and the national NGOs uh, who are being involved in humanitarian issues. Bure East Deputy County Commissioner Thomas Bett said the sub-county steering group was in the process of mapping out the key areas that are at risk of flooding, adding that they are prepared to handle any eventualities if and when they arise. Vyombo vya serikali viko tayari kuja kuwa, kuwasaidia kuhakikisha kwamba kila mtu anapata usaidizi wa aina yoyote. Tutaangalia tufanye mapping vizuri tusaidie sehemu kama hizo. Elsewhere in Kiambu County, residents living in Lari constituency and especially those that are prone to landslides have started early preparation to mitigate themselves from the oncoming rains. According to the area chief Njoroge Mungai, different areas of law such as King Atua, Magina, Kijabe are prone to landslide during heavy rains. Tumeweza kuambia wale ambao wanao kaa katika sehemu ambazo zi, ziko chini. Wahakishi ya kwamba wakati huu atakapoona tu hali ya mnyoka ikianza, kwa hivyo waweze ku, kutoka sehemu hizo na kuenda katika sehemu za, za juu. They are now calling on the government to help them prevent losses that can be caused by landslides. Polina Smil, for Lunchtime News.